in Birmingham at the uh, Mental Health in Schools Knowledge Exchange organised by Leeds Beckett University. Uh, I am here because I'm a coach for the School Mental Health Award, many of you all know that, many of you are my coaches, and today's really all about lots of people sharing their ideas. So you can see the room's like really filling up, lots of people are probably dodging the cameras, I'll move it around now. I think we've got about 150 people coming and the um, format of this event is really interesting uh, because actually what we do here is we have lots of roundtable discussions and there's a facilitator and a topic, but it's really about encouraging people to share their ideas and their best practice. So hopefully throughout the day uh, we'll share loads and loads of different ideas and I'll try and encourage people to uh, jump on the camera and uh, join in with the vlog. We'll see how we go. Uh, this is uh, my third attempt at filming the intro to this vlog because I just formatted the card on the first two attempts. So that's going well. So this was my first time vlogging. I didn't do so great on capturing the live stuff. This is pretty much the only live footage I got. Enjoy. Okay, good morning, colleagues. Um, lovely to see everyone here today. Um, and fantastic that actually looking at everybody um, in the audience that mental health is, is being really, really prioritised um, in schools and colleges. Um, and there's nothing more important than supporting children and young people mental health and also the mental health of teachers because we know that when people are mentally healthy they thrive. Um, I would talk to the child and they say even though I'm feeling a little bit stressed today, I'm feeling down, it's just an emotion, it's just a feeling, it will pass. So we no longer have bells except for the start and the end of the day. Um, but every change over through the day, whether it's break time, lunch time, lesson change, is a piece of music. We believe that um, mental health is as important as physical health, so that's something we've set up and is really embedded in the school. We are in our third year um, with our wellbeing mentors now. I learned an important lesson today. Turn the microphone on. These schools all won their school mental health awards today and they're wooing. See, woo, woo, yay! Uh, yeah, so I just realised I, I got everyone to woo and I didn't have my microphone on, so that's going to be rubbish. Um, tell me, uh, what, what's been the great bit so far today? What's been your favourite thing? Um, my favourite thing is just kind of the buzz and the atmosphere. Making the time today to put mental health at the top of their agenda. That's pretty cool actually, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. about you, Liz? Yeah. For me, it's been meeting people that I've coached online, yep. face to face, and the, the joy in their, uh, their eyes at, uh, at being part of this wider community from within uh, Leeds Beckett University and the centre, and uh, just celebrating the, uh, the great practice that's going on out there, because everybody's working so hard in this vital area at school. You guys are pros, I love it, thank you. <laughs> It's now my least favourite part of the day, lunchtime, uh, yeah, conference food, not, not my thing. So, um, this is one of those situations where there's like, yeah, loads of food um, and then uh, lots and lots of people um, and I hate it. So, yes, uh, I have to be really careful that I do eat at these events because otherwise what happens is that uh, I don't eat because I freak out because of the food and because of the people and all that kind of thing. Uh, and then it gets into the day I haven't eaten and uh, yeah, anorexia, blah, uh, voice starts going. So, Rachel, very kindly, who uh, is organising everything, has gone to find me a sandwich and I'll go and eat that on my own because that's just how this works. So, a little glimpse into the life of Pookie there. Uh, yeah, I stand up on stage and I look really professional and confident and all the rest of it, but yeah, present me with lunch and I freak. <laughs> Who do, are you? Do, are I look, do I look at you or do I look at No, them? Look, at, look at them. Look at them. Okay, cool. Who, uh, yeah, new venture is uh, it's called Beyond Shame, Beyond Stigma. Uh, and it's a grant giving, yep. uh, grant giving mental health organisation. Um, so essentially, you know, we know all about lack of funding and, and lack of access to services. And so at the moment we're fundraising and we're going to start giving grants hopefully at the end of uh, this year. And I've used these with a um, selective mute young lady who worked very, very successfully. A whole discussion about her mental health using these symbols without saying a word. It was fantastic. This is Andrew tonight. And what we do in schools, we go into schools we talk to young people about if your head feels like this and it's all over the place and you, you can't, that you can't concentrate and you can't learn, and we use strategies to help them settle their glitter mind, including five finger breathing, we do four, five, six breathing, and we do some grounding strategies. And what the idea is that while those strategies are happening, your mind is settling down and it gives you.
you a chance just to settle, let your glitter settle. Once your glitter settles, you then can concentrate and you're able to learn better. Okay, so I'm leaving this and all the stuff to eat my sandwich. Rachel got me a sandwich, so I'm just going to go and find somewhere to hide uh, and eat it quietly. Uh, yeah, how to be pooky in three steps. One, don't eat when everyone else does. Two, go find somewhere to hide. Three, look like a freak talking to yourself in your camera as you're walking around the hotel. And then, eat the sandwich. Oh, totally have one of them. It's intrinsic oh, to what we do, what we believe in, yeah. to ensure our children are developing personally and socially, not just academically. We feel that actually, the research shows that the children make a decision about their careers at about the age of seven or eight and it's very hard to change their mindset so it's about getting into stereotypes and looking at all of those very early on. We, we, I've been really inspired by you today so I'm so glad I came uh, to hear about the award and about what you do. This was the final bit today was are we going to um, look at, look at um, the award and actually yes I can see from what you've done and the changes that you made and actually it's got to go from right there at the top of senior management because that's the only way I believe that can filter all the way down school through the schools and make that difference. Now it's the end. Uh, it's the end of the day. Uh, room's emptying. Everyone's going home. I'm driving home so I've got to be at Gatwick at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Fun time. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed my first vlog. Cookie's first vlog. Bye.